Hi everyone, it's Andrea and it's Monday May 1st and it's day four of Grace's Colouring Long. I'm just uh, going to do a series of short videos and edit all together today because I had lots of plans for today which was including to um, do some booktube videos but I've woken up this morning, this afternoon now, but I woke up this morning with a, a really bad case of vertigo so I'm not really up to doing very much at all so I just feel really really rough. So first of all I wanted to show you the vampire's picture which I have now completed. As you can see um, this was a mixture of Durbent Colour Soft pencils and Prismacolors so I used a bit of both so I really enjoyed doing this one. Um, yesterday I didn't do very much colouring at all because I was putting up a bookcase which took ages. I would show you it but it means fiddling with the camera and twisting things but I might stick a picture of it in here later. So yesterday I did spend part of the evening putting the colour swatches for the um, Prisma colours in this book along with my Duent Metallics. I haven't done the colour softs yet because I don't have them all. I do intend to get some of the Duent colour soft, the rest of them. I've got, there's another, I've got two on the way. I've got another 22 to come, no 20 to come which I'll order open stock um, here and there. Once I've got them all, I'll then do it. So I've done the colour swatches for the um, Prisma colours, so I can see which colours are which when I want them. And there they are. And I've got two lines left in case Prisma colour ever introduce any other colours, because I know they do introduce new colours from time to time. And then I've done the a colour swatch for my Dewent Metallics, which is a case of 12. I think they're part of the artist range, they're not colour soft. But I thought I'd put them in uh, so I can see what I'm doing. So next I'm going to start another Jade Summer one because I love Jade Summer's book and I'm going to do one of the pictures from her Grimm's Fairy Tales book. And I think I'm actually just going to do the first page which is Cinderella. So because there is like four or five of each um, fairy tale that you can do pictures. I'm going to need to keep a record of what colours I've used for her hair, her dress, her skin, his hair, his skin and so on just so that we make sure that it's the same every single time. I'm going to try and do this on camera later on. I'm not going to do it right now because um, I'm not feeling 100% very well. Like I said I'm going to do this in bits and pieces but this is the one I'm going to be doing and I will be using a lot of the the colour soft blues, um, sorry not the colour soft, Prisma blues. I'm probably going to use the metallic Duent at some point in it and I'm hoping, I'm thinking I'm using, when I get back to them, uh, let me just have a look, True Blue PC903, Electric Blue uh, PC1040, uh, possibly Peacock Blue 1027, and maybe Muted Turquoise, which is 1088, cause, and that's just for the dress because they are lovely, lovely colours. So I'm going to um, just have a little fiddle with that, uh, decide what I'm going to do, and I will be back later. Um, obviously, this will be all in one video, so <laughs> we'll just be edited together. But I'm also going to be taking little lies and, and naps in between because I'm just feeling so rough today. But I do want to carry on with the colour along, and I did want to, to do a video today because I didn't do one yesterday because of the bookcase fiasco. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to get on with some colouring. So I've picked out my blue colours um, for Cinderella's dress, which is what I'm going to be doing first. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five colours here. We've got non-photo blue, PC919. Um, electric blue, which is PC1040. Mediterranean blue, PC1022. Um, True Blue PC903 and Peacock Blue which is uh, PC1027. Now I don't know if I'm going to use all of these blues in the dress but I wanted a good um, selection of the blues so I'm just going to move the book slightly so you can see her dress. Now obviously I am working on a very strange angle because um, I'm actually sitting up in my bedroom because I'm still not feeling a hundred percent well. It's a pain, I know, so I'm just going to start um, 
it's hard to know where to start actually on her dress because there's so much detail on it. So this I'm going to put in the gaps. So, like so. so you can see, I think we are zoomed in all the way because uh, obviously the camera's on a tripod and it's difficult to see. So yeah. So I had a couple of hours sleep this afternoon and I am feeling a little bit better. Not brilliant, but a little bit. I had to shut my window, which I don't like to do. I usually have my bedroom window open all year round, regardless of how hot or cold it is outside, because I like the fresh air. But we had a bit of a thunderstorm this afternoon, um, and it was very, very loud. It was pretty much right over us, so I'd shut the window. And we also had some very, very heavy hail. So that was cool, or not. <laughs> I'm not actually sure whether it would be cool or not, but there you go. So, I was going to film some booktube videos today, but I really don't feel well enough to put on makeup and do all that. That stuff, so. Yeah, it's not happening. This is really fiddly, this bit of the dress. Because the dress is made up of, if you, if you look, if it'll focus in, focus. Thank you. So you see it's got the big flowers on it, like this. But in between that, there's all sorts of little lines and things. So it's not the easiest to focus. So yeah, as you see, I'm upstairs uh, in the bedroom today, not in my usual colouring spot, which is, in the living room, well, in the dining room, on the dining table. So yeah, I was going to do some booktube videos too. I just did not feel well enough to get fully dressed. And I did not feel well enough to, oh, you know, get dressed and Put makeup on. It's one thing with colouring, I, I can just sit here, you don't have to look at my ugly mug. I don't have to put makeup on. You're just watching me colour in. And badly at the moment because it's so fiddly. I wish I'd done this off camera. But there you go. So. This is lovely. So this book is Grim Fairy Tales by Jade Summers, or Jade Summer rather. And uh, so this is again another book for part of Grace's Colour Along, which was any Jade Summer. And I finished the Vampires one, as you saw. I really like the way that turned out. So I'm standing on something, I'm not actually sure what it is. I think it's a computer mouse. Well, I'm not standing, I'm sort of sitting. But my foot's resting on something it shouldn't be. Here we are. And of course, because I'm left-handed, it also makes it a little bit difficult. So apparently on May the 4th, because it's May the 4th, there's going to be a bit of a Star Wars themed colour along, just for that one day. I, I am hoping to do something. I don't have a Star Wars book. There is one available. They do have it in my local supermarket, so I might pop and get it, but I am, I might be out on Thursday night because I am supposed to be deputy stage manager in a play soon and I need to go to rehearsal. And I would have gone tomorrow, but of course we're not feeling very well. I'm not sure I'm going to be um, up to go anywhere tomorrow because I'm still not, I'm still not feeling very well. I have had some dinner and... As nice as it was, I now feel poorly again, because, you know, at least the vertigo itself seems to have disappeared, so I'm hoping by tomorrow I'll be better, but I don't want to risk making myself worse by going out tomorrow night. So Thursday I may be out for part of the night. So, I can take my colouring stuff with me though. If I decide on what colours I want, I could take that with me and just uh, 
so they don't do it in the theatre. So, so I'm stage managing, well, deputy stage managing a play at the Dolman in June called The Government Inspector. I haven't, I love DSM in. Um, I haven't done it for a while. I've deputy stage managed two or three plays now there, so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, sometimes, uh, as much as I love acting and being on stage, that is a hell of a lot of commitment because you have to be there every rehearsal and sometimes that's three times a week um, obviously leading up to the show and then oh, there's the week before the show and the week of the show whereas with stage management and deputy stage management specifically I only have to go to the old rehearsal just to see what's happening and then if I get chance you know I don't have to go well, maybe like one or two over the next month because it's in June Mid June, so there's a well over a month. I could go and see one now, a couple of them now, a couple of weeks off, and then I'll go and watch some more just to see what's just to see what's going on with the play, really. Because the, the main job of the deputy stage manager is to call people to stage and call cues. So I get to sit backstage and look at a TV screen and watch a play on the TV, and speak to the guys doing lights and sound, and then the guys doing lights and sound. I just um, advise when they need to press their buttons. Depends on who's doing lights and sounds because if it's Dan and Ellie you don't need to tell them anything because they're so bloody good at it. They just they know when their cues are. It's just for their security really. Oh so we've gone out of focus there. Thank you. So as you can say, see this dress is really fiddly. So I can see I'm doing one of the round one of the flowers right now. So, yeah, I may be out on Thursday, so I might not be able to do the um, Star Wars colorathon from the the May the Fourth. But I, I might try and do a bit of it. I could take it to work and do some on my break and stuff, and take it to the theatre and do it before and after the you know on the breaks. A nice sharp point on this one. Isn't this a gorgeous blue? That's one thing I've, I've noticed with the Prisma colours, I've only had them a couple of days and I love them, is that the, the blues, they've got some fantastic ranges. It's really sad because the indigo blue, which, whoops, I guess my headphones, which I used for the night um, on, for the sky on the last one, is now really, really short. <laughs> compared to this one, which I've only just started using. And you can't see, there you are, there we are. But that's because I, I used it as the background. Um, I've done the same with my Derwent Calsoft Indigo, because I've been using that in the, just find it for you, the um, Colour Your Own uh, uh, graphic novel Dracula, which I have done the skies for only. Just scroll that out so you can see them. So I've done the, they're panels, so I've done that. Just done the skies on them. They're not part of the colour along, but when I need to do, when I feel like I don't want to do anything else, I can put them up so it just fell off the bed. The bed is covered in colouring supplies at the moment and books. So I've got um, a little basket full of glitter. I'm not sure why the red stickles is in there, but hey, it's supposed to be, but, uh, yeah, I got some Starry Night stickles and some blue um, glitter glue. glue. Um, I can't see me using it tonight, but it's just, I've got out all the colours that I want ready for the, the picture, because this one especially for Cinderella because she's at the ball and there are two or three of her at the ball but before I stop I will be writing down the colours I used so I know which ones are for which bit of the picture um, dare to say there's gonna be glitter <laughs> this one is gonna look like a glitter explosion and there's nothing wrong with a bit of glitter
So I'm also going to do, the, obviously you've got the Cinderella title bit at the top, which is really nice, you can't see it, but it's there. Like that. And it, there's about, I think there's four pictures for each one, or five pictures for each one. One, two, three, four, five on that one. And one of which is a title page, which is really nice. I like the title page, I think it's really cute. Um, yeah. It's really, really nice. It's just figuring out which colour to use where and I say, unless it's a real pattern on the dress, like the flowers. The lines are guidelines. that first bit done and you know what it's tiny it's taking a while um a sec. just keep losing things it's not the best place to color really in bed it's very nice especially as i need to stretch my legs excuse me that's my, that might be better actually that's better give it a bit more balance Take it out a bit for now. So I'm also going to do I hope you honestly really like this peacock blue is gorgeous. Um what's this one? This is true blue, I think. Is it? Yeah, true blue. Reminds me of Madonna song, true blue. True blue, her baby. True love, it's true love, baby. La 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 the singing. You know, just sing along. <laughs> so yeah I want to do some booktube videos but I've just not been feeling well enough today so I'm hopefully booktube people I will be doing my um what month have we just finished April wrap up and my April book haul hopefully tomorrow night if I feel better and getting those up for you as soon as I can because you're probably sick to death of these colouring videos if you're not into colouring it's probably really dull but there's a lot of colouring people out there and I've made some lovely new friends on doing these colour alongs and colouring chats and all that stuff it's great it has been absolutely brilliant to get to know some new people and find some new channels. I've subscribed to loads of new channels and, and finding different things that you can use the colour with. So, I mean, when we were kids it was all crayons and yeah, watercolour paints and things like that that you would just make a mess with. <laughs> I would anyway. <laughs> I'm not a, I am not an artist, I say that. Um, I like colouring, but that's about it. Well, I cannot find my sharpener again. See, this is the problem with it. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go on to this. Is, um, is this the one I want? Yeah, non photo blue. Just a lighter colour again. Move those for a minute while I look for my sharpener. So um, I have finished her dress, uh, which I did off camera because it was so fiddly, and there's like five or six different blues. 
um, because there is other ones, or are other ones, with the dress on it, I've made a list of the colours that I've used in my notebook. So I can go back and use the same colours. I'm doing the same, I'm going to do her hair now. And I've, again, I've written down the colours I plan on using, which are... Uh, PC, I can't see them in this light, 916 Canary Yellow, and then PC 1012 Jasmine, PC 942 Yellow Ochre, and then just to give it a bit of texture and some low lights, um, PC 1082 Chocolate. So we'll start with the lightest one, which is yellow. And I do know this thing, I have to sharpen it first, so that's just freaking tip. So I've not actually finished the dress, although it's coloured. I am going to put some sparkly stuff on there. Um, I've got some Starry Night stickles, and I've also got some different shades of blue glitter um, glues that I can put on. So, as with the um, the vampire one, I'm not going to. be over careful with how I do her hair. She's got long hair this girl. You'd think with all the dirt she came into contact with she'd want to keep her hair short. Oh but she's a princess. Not yet but she will be. <laughs> I don't really care where the lights are. I'm just literally colouring it in. I've got my little basket full of goodies that I need for various things. Um, just to keep my bits and pieces in so I don't lose them. But I'm really liking these Prisma colours. I'm glad I got them. You know, I, I worked a lot of overtime in March and April. And what I got in April's pay was all the March's overtime. And, you know, what's the point in working extra hours? I mean, there was one week where I did two hours extra a day. I did a ten hour, 10 hour day instead of an eight. And I did some Saturdays and I did some Sundays. And what is the point of actually doing all that work if I can't treat myself? Yes, I'm saving up for various things. You know, it's always good to have some money in a savings account in case of emergencies. But there's no point in busting a gut working all those extra hours unless you're going to treat yourself. So I did put some money in my savings account. I paid a huge chunk off my credit card. Um, it's not a lot on it, but I thought I'd pay most of it off because I liked it. And then I, I bought my Prisma colours and three books. This was one of the books. Some stickles and some colour soft open stock, which haven't arrived. I'll kick the kick the thing. They haven't arrived yet, but they'll arrive in a week. And. I, obviously in May's pay when I get that I will have some more overtime because I I did some more I did some over the Easter weekend to be in May's pay and uh, I shall treat myself again. I'm thinking of getting the Pebbles Chalks, which I've seen somebody did a demonstration of, and I thought, that, wow, they look really, really good. You know, not so much for this sort of thing, but for like backgrounds in the, say, the Johanna Basford books, or somewhere you've got a huge expanse, like um, in the Daria Song books, you've got some huge expanses. Uh, they're like pastels but they're chalks and they look really really interesting so I thought I'd get them and give them a go. So 
as you can see I'm just putting different layers on her hair now and the different colours and I'll blend it in a bit and that's that's something I did with the dress when I finished with the colours I got the uh, I got the blending stick the Prismacolor blending stick and I just went over the whole dress so that it blended the colours in together and I think it looks really nice and when I get the sticky stickles on it and the glitter glue because it's not all stickles unfortunately it's gonna look fun I hope it's gonna look fantastic I think it's gonna look nice I think she looks lovely, don't you think? I quite like her hair. I haven't blended it yet, mine, so. Put a bit dark in there. The blend stick, which I've now sharpened slightly to take off the blue. You can scribble it out on a piece of paper, but that goes right through me. Just going to blend this in together now. Then her earring as well, and I actually used the Derwent Metallic for that. Um, apparently, they look better on black paper when you use them as water soluble, but I haven't tried that yet. I may well do on one of them, but I have not tried any watercolors for a long, long time. So what are you guys reading, if anything, at the moment? Are you, are you booktubers as well as um, colourists? Do you do booktube? I mean, obviously, I do both. And, I, and the only one booktube today is because I've been feeling so rotten. Which is annoying because I've got lots of stuff to talk about. I've got, like I said, I've got my haul to do. I've got... There's not many books in my April haul. Maybe about 11, which is quite low for me. Um... I've got my wrap up to do. That's probably quite good that my book haul's quite low this month because I haven't read as much. But that's because I've been colouring with you guys. Um, like I said, my partner, he likes it when I, I colour because if I colour, I can talk to him. When I'm reading, I can't talk to anybody. When I'm reading, I'm lost to the world. So, so yeah. If you guys are booktubes, what are you currently? If you if you booktube, what are you currently reading? Because I always like to know that. So I do a lot of these colour and chats because you know I've got lots to say. <laughs> I'm currently reading a book called Judy with Love by Lorna Smith. And it's a book on Judy Garland. Here it is. It's a lovely Judy. Uh, this came out um, in 1975, so not long after her death, about six years after her death. She died in 69. Um, and it is written by the woman, Lorna Smith, who was... She knew her personally in London. And Lorna was a member of the fan club. In fact, she was the head of the fan club at one point. The fan club is still going today. And uh, she helped Judy out during her Talk of the Town appearance in uh, London, which is Leicester Square. And uh, she... Yeah, so she helped her out a lot during the time in 1969 when she needed it. Um, so it's very nice and interesting fans reminiscence. So it's very fascinating. It's obviously written by a fan. It, you can tell. But it's just a nice book. I'm near the end now. We're coming up to Judy's death. So I'm on page 171. And there's only 197 pages. So 
I'm nearly there. So I've got my colours here and I'm just going to go in and out um, for face colours because, uh, yeah, face, mm, faces, not my fit best, um, and not my favourite uh, kind of colouring to be honest. And the light on the camera is not very good because I'm sitting in my bedroom and it's all tungsten, but it's not too bad because I've got the window behind me. So I'm just going to do my face. And I'm using a base colour at the moment, which is light peach. Now, she's Cinderella. She's not going to be over made up. I'll just do her face first. We'll do the rest of her body later. It's only her arms, neck and her booby area. And now I've got a peach beige. Which is a slightly darker colour. I have no idea what this is going to look like, by the way. And it's very hard for you guys to see it anyway, so... I always find that with my flesh and my bodies, they're always very, I don't know if I'm putting my head in the thing when I'm doing this, head my hair. No. They always turn out too light. But then I'm very light. I'm not very brown. As you, well, I look brown, but I'm not. I'm usually pale white. So this is just going to take some experimenting. How is that? Sorry about that, just had to stop for a minute there. So as you can see, I've done her face. Um, I've given her some colour on her lips, not a lot. And a little bit of blush. Um, but the main two colours I've used are peach, light peach and peach beige. And I did use a little bit of this one. Nope. Although that is a good one, that's egg shot. Um, I, I don't know which one I used. I think it was, it was a browner one. Just give it a little bit of colour around the edge. Beige sienna, which is a nice colour. So I'm going to do a neck now and I can show you the colours. So, so yes, I'm currently reading Judy with Love Lorna. Like I said, Lorna was a member of uh, the Judy Gallen fan club, one of the founder members, in fact, back in the 60s. So, yeah, I do like my non fiction. I have got another non-fiction book on the go, which I sort of stopped. The reason I stopped was the Judy Garland book came out of my TBR jar. So I wanted to try and finish as much of it before the end of the month so I can pull another one from the TBR jar because if you watch, if you watch my wrap-up video, oh dear, when I finally get to film it, I'm hoping to do that tomorrow. Um you'll find out that I didn't actually read my entire April TBR. Um, that I wanted to because of all the colouring, but um, I will go into a bit more obviously detail about what I wanted to read and what I didn't read. But I wanted to finish the, or get to close to the Judy Garland book, I should probably finish it tonight, so that I can pull another book out of the TBR jar. So those are books that have been on my TBR um, that I've had hanging around for over a year, and in fact some of them over two years. So yeah, so they're the ones that have been hanging around for a long, long time. So I really want to, I really need to, to finish them. So yeah. 
So I want to be able to pull one out this month, which I will do. I will be pulling another one out because like I said, I'm right at the end of that book. So although I will be finishing it in May, it will be like probably tonight before I go to bed. Once I've finished um, colouring for the night, which will probably be, I'll probably stop when I've finished just her skin because he'll need to be a bit browner, I think. I don't know yet. I haven't decided on him yet. Just excuse me while I put some deep dark brown lines on her. So, I'm actually quite liking the way she's looking at the moment. I mean, she's actually nearly finished, apart from the glitter, which I'll be putting in later. Oh, and I haven't done her eyes yet. But <laughs> eyes are... Because she's side on, it's going to be a little bit difficult because she hasn't got much of her eyes showing her. And what colour to make her eyes? Because they always make them Disney princesses. Blue-eyed. Blonde. So she's blonde, but she's not white blonde um, and when I do it again I might turn it around and do it completely different and have my Cinderella with black hair or brown hair and wearing something like a red dress you know, we you, that, and that's the beauty of these colouring books. I can do this now. And then later on, I can do it again and I can do it completely differently. Because there are two of each in each one. Now I'm going to go with... Ugh. Oh, they're all rolling around. That's the only thing I don't like about these pencil trays is they do keep rolling around. And oh, as you can see, the pencils just don't stay in the right order. So as long as they're in the right tray, so I've got an idea of which colour I want and where they are. <sighs> I'm just looking for a nice colour. Because they just fall apart. I'm looking for. Oh, oh. True green, Kelly green. Oh my god, there's so many blinking greens. What colour do I want? I want to have olive, I think, which is right. It's just finding it because there are so many greens. There it is. And same with blues. There are so many greens and blues in these Prisma colours. It's absolutely fantastic. But it does make it hard to find. This it's so nice to have so much choice. Um so I'll just do that. Now I'm actually gonna call it a night there because my batteries run out on my camera. I do have a spare one. But by the time I've changed it, I, you know. So, there we are. So far. So, I will do some more tomorrow. And I will see you then. So, thanks for tuning in. Happy colouring, guys. Bye now.